published an editorial about the other candidate. An editorial about Donald Trump, saying he is dangerous in word, deed, and action. He puts self over country. He loathes the laws we live by. Donald Trump is unfit to lead. The editorial went on to say, a once great political party now serves the interests of one man, a man as demonstrably unsuited for the office of president as any to run in the long history of the republic, a man whose values, temperament, ideas, and language are directly opposed to so much of what has made this country great. Mr. Trump has shown a character unworthy of the responsibilities of the presidency. He is quite simply un. He's there, man. We urge voters to see the dangers of a second Trump term clearly and reject it. The stakes and significance of the presidency demand a person who has essential qualities and values to earn our trust. And on each one, Donald Trump fails. His words and actions demonstrate a disregard for basic right and wrong and a clear lack of moral fitness for the responsibilities of the presidency. He lies blatantly and maliciously, embraces racists, abuses women, and has a schoolyard bully's instinct to target society's most vulnerable. He has delighted in coarsening and polarizing the town square with ever more divisive and incendiary language. On January 6, 2021, Mr. Trump incited a mob to violence with hateful lies then stood for hours as hundreds of his supporters took his words and stormed the Capitol with the aim of terrorizing members of Congress into keeping him in office. He praised these insurrections and called them patriots. The lack of moral grounding undermines Mr. Trump even in areas where voters view him as stronger and trust him more than Mr. Biden, like immigration and crime, veering into a kind of brutal excess that is at best immoral and at worst unconstitutional. He has said that undocumented immigrants were poisoning the blood of our country, and his advisors say he would aim to round them up in mass detention camps and end birthright citizenship. Mr. Trump lost the trust of America's longstanding allies, especially in NATO, leaving Europe less secure and emboldening the far-right and authoritarian leaders in Europe, Latin America, and Asia. He pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal, leaving that country, already a threat to the world, more dangerous, thanks to a revived program that has achieved near-weapons-grade uranium. He has suggested that in a second term, he'd increase tariffs on Chinese goods to 60% or higher, and that he would put a 10% tariff on all imported goods, moves that would raise prices for American consumers. Character is the quality that gives a leader credibility, authority, and influence. It's a job that requires the kind of character he just doesn't have. Paul Ryan, a former Republican House Speaker, said of Mr. Trump in May. Mike Pence, Mr. Trump's vice president, has disavowed him. I believe that anyone who puts themselves over the Constitution should never be president of the United States, Mr. Pence has said, and anyone who asks someone else to put them over the Constitution should never be president of the United States again. A study by researchers at the University of California, Davis, released in October 2022, came to the conclusion that mega Republicans, as opposed to those who identify themselves as traditional Republicans, are more likely to hold extreme and racist beliefs, to endorse political violence, to see such violence as likely to occur, and to predict that they will be armed under circumstances in which they consider political violence to be justified. Mr. Trump has become even more reckless in employing extreme and violent speech, such as his reference to executing generals who raise questions about his actions. He has argued before the Supreme Court that he should have the right to assassinate a political rival and face no consequences. Election day is less than four months away. The case against Mr. Trump is extensive. Gee, in that case, the guy who tried to shoot him should fight, shouldn't face any circumstances Americans either. To perform a you know, it's just... Of civic duty 
in an election year. Keep it fair. What Mr. Trump is saying, pay attention to what he did as president and allow yourself to truly inhabit what he has promised to do if returned to office. When someone fails so many foundational tests, you don't give him the most important job in the world. So says the New York Times editorial. President Biden submitted to a 